This Excel lesson deals with editing shortcuts, things that can save you some time when you're typing in uh, information into a spreadsheet, working on a spreadsheet of any kind. Um, I guess the first one I should deal with is called the fill handle. Now, when you go to a cell and you click on it, uh, when you're in the middle, uh, you get a, this, this big white plus sign, and that allows you to select several cells if you want. When you go to the outside perimeter, you, you get four arrows. So I've selected Monday. Now, when I'm on the outside perimeter here, I got four black arrows. That allows me to click and move that anywhere I want to. So that allows you to move the contents of a cell to another area. However, when you get to the bottom right hand corner, your mouse turns into a black plus sign. That is your fill handle. Now, your fill handle has two different jobs. One of them is to complete a series. So by complete a series, I mean I've got label one and label two, so apostrophe one and apostrophe two. If I select both of those and I go to my fill handle, it's going to know that the next logical one should be label three, four, five. So this would prevent me from having to type all of those in. So simply type in the first two and it knows what the others will be. So that works with any series of numbers. So I can go five, 10. It doesn't have to be label one, label two. It could be a regular number, like 5, 10. And it's going to know that the next one is 15, 20, 25. So it knows to complete a series. That's one of your fill handles jobs. Um, it's been pre-programmed with the days of the, the week and the months as well. So I don't even need the first two for days and months. It knows to give you the next ones. You can go right, you can go left, you can go down, you can go up. It just knows to complete those series. So that's one of fill handle's jobs. The other job of the fill handle is to copy the contents of a cell to another cell. So with these labels and the numbers, I was selecting the first two and dragging. But if you only select one and you use your fill handle, it'll simply repeat that number over and over again. So it just keeps giving you the same. Now, that might not seem handy now, but it really is handy when you start using formulas. So I've got a formula here that added every cell from this column. Right? So I did equal C4 plus C5 plus C6. What your fill handle can do is it can copy the contents of a cell to other adjacent cells. And this way you type your formula in once and you can use your fill handle and complete the others. Here I have a formula that's adding the contents of these cells, okay, so this entire row here from C4 all the way to G4. Now I've got that formula here, so I can take my fill handle and copy that down that way. So I've got the same formula being repeated all the way down. So those are the two jobs of the fill handle, probably one of the most useful and common tools in all of Excel. Uh, other little shortcuts, let's say I have two plants, I have the north plant, and I have the south plant. And it's going to be one of those all the way through. There's a feature called autocomplete that's been programmed into Excel for just this kind of scenario. So if I type S now, it's, it's guessing for me. Do you want south? So if I hit enter, it'll know to complete that with the rest of the word, thus the name autocomplete. The other thing you can do, if you're more of a mouse person, I can right click on the next cell. And from here, I can go to pick from drop down list and it's got two here and I would choose the one that I want. Kind of handy when you have a long list maybe of suppliers or customers and you're having to go through so it's right click pick from list and you would pick the one that you think or that you need to be in there. 